Today, I'm gonna to take you through a six month album release strategy, including everything you need to know and a checklist. When it comes to singles, you can afford to make a few mistakes. You can afford to lose a little bit of time, a little bit of momentum, knowing that you can just roll into the next one, maybe lose a bit of money in the process. But when it comes to albums, this is months, potentially even years in the making. So therefore, you can't afford to get this lost like some kind of fart in a jacuzzi. And this is why so many artists give up. Do you know the average amount of albums that are released by an artist is one? Why is that? Because they get deterred, they get bored and fed up with not having results and they think to themselves, oh, I'm not doing that again. So how do we make sure that we are putting out an album and getting the momentum and the opportunities that you deserve from the effort that you put in? So first of all, should you release an album or should you stick to singles to build that momentum? And surprisingly, the answer is not as simple as you'd think because it depends on so many factors. It depends on why you're releasing, when you're releasing, how you're going to release, the budget that you've got to release, even the demographic that you are releasing your album to. And so, I made a quiz. That's right, that's the crazy kind of guy I am. So I want you to come with me and take this quiz. Number one, is your audience over 50,000 people? Combined across TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, everything else, do you have an audience of over 50,000? I know, it's a lot, right? But if you don't, maybe you should think about sticking with singles to build that momentum. After all, you can afford to make a few mistakes, plus you can move fast. A single every week, a single every month, a single every two months, you aren't planning this for months or years on end. Number two, do you have an audience, but as yet it isn't translating fully on Spotify? So therefore, are you getting, let's say, 100,000 monthly streams? Because if not, that is the area that we need to focus on. We need to say that the water that we are pouring in isn't actually getting to where we wanna go. So that is the problem that we need to solve first. And if we are gonna do that, singles would be the best way of doing it. And number three, do you have very deep pockets? Because if you do, then it means it doesn't matter about answers number one and number two because we're gonna use the music to build the audience and we're gonna use the money to get the opportunities, just like a label. Did you know that it costs on average a million dollars to break a new artist when it comes to pop and country? That's a lot of dollar, but then there's a lot of things to do. So if you don't have any money, and you don't have any audience, then we need to go back to releasing singles to build that momentum. The takeaway here is don't release an album for the sake of your ego. Even if you're desperate to release an album, be patient, get the ball rolling, build the audience, get that momentum, and then you can capitalize on it by releasing an album and actually getting the spoils. Now here's the problem. We both know whatever I just said about releasing an album makes no difference whatsoever and you are absolutely gonna release this album whether I like it or not. So in which case, we might as well dive in and get you up to date with everything that you need to know to get all of the opportunities and squeeze everything out of this album. So answer me this, why? Why are you putting out this album? Now I don't mean why not release singles. I mean, what is the purpose of this album? What is it that you are trying to achieve? Because if you know the answer, then you can design the strategy strategy around those goals and the things that you want to happen. Because an album is an asset. Think of all of the time, the effort, the energy, the creativity, the passion that's gone into this project. It is an asset. And in financial terms, an asset generates income. So the biggest asset that most people think about is buying a house. I've invested in a property because that is an asset. No, no, no. A property is a liability unless you make it into an asset. Think about it, you buy a property and you got bills, you got gas bill, you got electricity bill, uh, someone's got to cut the grass, things go wrong, the boiler breaks. All of these things that happen mean those are outgoings. If no one's in the house, then that's just going out. That's just money going out every single month. That's not income, that's not an asset. An asset means you put someone else in and the income is more than the outgoing and then it becomes an asset. Well, it's the same with your album. If you think about all of the things that you've spent money and time on, it doesn't have to just be, be money, but you've recorded it, you've mixed it, you've mastered it, you've uploaded it, you've got the promotion, all of this costs time and money. If you don't start making a return, opportunities-wise, and financially, then it's a liability. But if we can make this into a financial return and an opportunistic return, now it's an asset.
Now this bit is really, really important. A single is used to generate attention and build you the artist. So effectively, a single's there to promote you. An album is different. An album is there to capitalize off the attention. Think of it like this. In life, friction creates energy. The energy is then stored and that is used or harnessed to power a city. When it comes to music, it's very, very similar. What happens is the creativity builds the attention and the attention is stored and then that is harnessed for you to get opportunities, including making money. Now this is why so many artists don't make money off their music, especially when it comes to creating albums. They use themselves to promote the music. Hey everyone, my new album's coming out. Great, well that works if you're Lewis Capaldi, because at which point everyone says, oh, Lewis Capaldi's got a new album out. Well, I remember the last one, I like that one, I understand Lewis Capaldi, off I go, he's already got the attention, so therefore it's an easy sell. But if you're not, if you're an up and coming artist and you say, hey everyone, my album's coming out, there's no momentum. You don't have enough followers to be able to build the music. So we have to think of it the other way around. We have to use the music to build you. You are the superhero. Think of it. If you've ever bought an artist t-shirt or a band t-shirt, you didn't buy that because of the song. You bought it because of the artist. There's plenty of people who do covers. If you go and buy tickets to a concert for your favorite artist, you are going to see the artist sing those songs. And so therefore, if you go and see someone do covers of those songs, you say, well, I'm not paying for that. I want to see my, uh, my favorite artist. It's the artist that's the hero, not the songs. But it's the songs that generate the power for the artist. So think about this. In fact, write this down. The reason to release an album is because you have enough momentum to capitalize on the attention. So therefore, think of it like this. If you've got, say, one million monthly listeners on Spotify, brilliant. Now, if you release an album of, say, 12 songs, and all of those one million people listen to an average of three new songs on top of what they've done, then you have an extra three million streams per month. Now, just from Spotify alone, that's going to be an extra $12,000. Now, if you're looking at Tidal, that could be $36,000. So you can see that you're capitalizing much more on the momentum. However, if you go and get an extra 1,000 streams per song, so 12,000 plays on Spotify, it's an extra 50 bucks and a hell of a lot of anxiety when you realize how much time it's taken versus what you are getting as a reward. The next thing is, when should you release? And the answer to this is minimum six months time. And by six months time, I mean six months after you get back the finished mix and master of the track. And even six months is not the longest period of time. But please stop thinking of this as a single. A single single is go again, go again, go again. An album is a huge task and it's something that you are making a big statement. So we need enough momentum and build up to make sure that this album gets the attention and makes the return on investment that you deserve. Like we live in a time of surprise album drops. You know when Ed Sheeran drops a surprise album. I mean, I mean, you know that's fake, right? You know that's utter rubbish. That album has been in the making for a long, long time and everyone's in on it. The, the public might not be in on it, but everyone has to be in on it. The DSPs, well, they're in on it. The press, well, they're in on it. The tour, well, they're in on it. You, you don't get this kind of, oh, it just happens that Ed Sheeran happens to be on tour and then he just throws out an album. What do you know? He's got a bunch of TV appearances. What a coincidence. That new merch drop, oh, that's good timing, isn't it? It doesn't work like that. Everyone is in on it apart from the general public. Now, saying that, there's probably a handful, and I mean a real small handful of artists, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, who could potentially drop an album very, very quickly because of the power that they've got. Imagine being the booking agent. Hi, is that Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah, Taylor Swift's about to drop an album. Do you want on the show this week? Um... Yes, I'll boot someone off, we will make space because it's Taylor Swift. But even then, it's a huge gamble because there is so much riding on it and these artists can't afford to fail. So let's treat your release with respect and stop thinking that you can do a surprise album drop and expect it to be good because it's a world of anxiety, which brings me on to the release strategy. So we start like Quentin Tarantino, at the end. We are going to the end when you are going to put out that album. I want it written down on a calendar, the release date, and we are going to work backwards. From there, we're going to probably put out three 
or four or maybe five singles. The reason for that is because you can either do one a month or one every six weeks. Now, with where we are at at this moment in time, in 2023 this is, micro content is allowing you to stretch the release of a single. Now this, I'm not gonna go into lots of details when it comes to single release. I've got a full hour long video on that like this one, but you can stretch the release of a single. This doesn't have to be 24 hours now. You can get away with a good six weeks before you start thinking about the next single. So therefore, you can have three or even five singles in the lead up to the release of this album. Okay, a couple of house notes before we go into the month by month breakdown of how you're gonna do this. Remember, this isn't a single strategy. This is an album strategy. So I'm not gonna be talking about music videos videos or visualizers or, or Spotify clips or anything like that. That is in a different video. This is an overarching how you are going to promote release and benefit from an album. And on top of that, when it comes to ads, I would use ads. And for all you ads geeks out there, I'm going to give you a very quick rundown. When it comes to singles, I would use brand awareness. I would not do any adverts that feel like an advert. Right now, the win is in making sure that people know who you are. So I don't want call to action for the singles. I don't want you to start saying, hey, my new single's coming out. Hey, my new merch is coming out. Right now, I just want everyone to go, I like you. I like that person. I like that artist. I want to see more of them. Let's build the audience. As soon as you make it feel like an advert, it puts people off. So I'd start with that. That would be my initial brand awareness campaign. And then I would move into a retargeted campaign where we are looking at a call to action. Now that is going to be later on once we've warmed the audience up, when it is going to be, hey, buy my merch. Hey, why don't you buy some tickets? Hey, my new album is coming out. But that is a separate bunch of adverts. And to start with, what I want is no advert. I want more brand awareness. And obviously, if you really want to go down deep into ad strategy and single strategy and, and social media strategy, well, that's what DK Music Business Academy is for. The link is down below. So if you want loads more details, then you'd come and join me in there. But it is time to go month to month details. So get a pen, get a piece of paper, and let's do this. Okay, I am armed with my trusty iPad, my iPad pen, and my childlike writing. No more comments on the childlike writing, please. Right, let's do this. So we're going to start with month one. Now, the first thing we need to do, we need to have the album finished. So finish the album. Now, by finish the album, what I mean is mixed, mastered, completed. Nothing left to do on the album because you know what it's like. You start doing that thing where you just kind of go, no, I've pretty much just got to get the last master back. And that takes three months because it's just something goes wrong or someone's granny's not well. So let's make sure it's back and then we will plan the six month from that date. The next thing after that is I want you to choose the singles. You get to choose however many you want. You can choose three, four or five, but I want them chosen and I want them in order. And then I want you to upload the first two singles. Okay, you don't have to upload all of them, but I want two of them uploaded. Just honestly, trust me, when, when you're doing this stuff, stuff just goes wrong. It's better to be ahead of the game than it is to be behind the game. Now, when you do this, make sure you keep your ISDN number, okay, and the master, both of those two things. I'm going to write the ISDN number. Now, the reason for that is because when you are uploading an album down the road, if you've uploaded singles and then you upload the album and you don't have that ISDN number and the master, all of the platforms, Spotify included, start to think that these are two separate songs. And so what happens? All of the momentum you've got from the single is now not pushed into the album and they're two separate things on Spotify. It's just a world of pain. So just make sure that you hold on to not only your ISDN number, but make sure you hold on to that master, not a three second or a different remix because otherwise it won't work. The next thing after that is we are going to commission my childlike writing, commission the artwork. Now, I'm putting commission the artwork there. I would say probably more the singles. I don't think at this point you need to get into the album artwork unless you want to, but later on down the line, we will confirm that we need the finished artwork. So I would say definitely the singles, if there's going to be any kind of theme, which probably there will be from singles into an album, start to think about this now nice and early, because again, don't wait to the last minute, things go wrong. Next thing after that is we are going to plan and create one month of socials. Now, 
when it comes to creating socials, I'm a big believer in batching. I'm a big believer in going out on a weekend and creating, I mean, a month, but let's say a week, a week's worth of content, maybe two weeks worth of content within a space of an hour. There's loads of videos on my TikTok, on my Instagram, on my YouTube of ways that you can do this, but don't feel like you need to make content every single day because that's the world of pain, the world of anxiety, but you will be posting once a day unless something starts to really fly and you want to actually give it some time, give it 24 hours us to really let it, it uh, build the opportunity of that piece of content. But other than that, we're, we're working towards a target of one post every single day. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to release single one. Let's get that single out there. Um, I've put one single. I should have put single one, but you know what I mean. So we're releasing a single one, and everything that you want to do from a single point of view, you, you can put out your, your video, your music video, everything you want to do, fine. But I'm not going into singles detail, this is an album. So this is within this. Now, because we will be releasing every, in this instance, six weeks, you've got to plan that, okay? You've got to start thinking of the releases. If you're releasing at, for example, the start of month one, then it's going to be more the end of month two, and then probably it's going to be month four, if, if that makes sense. So that's the way we're going to start thinking of this. Now, after that, next thing I want to do is I've put here website because I'm not going to take it for granted that you don't have a website, but you will need to update your website. So we need to make sure your website has got everything that you need on it because we are going to be using this album to build attention and capitalizing on it. Therefore, I want to sell merch. I want to make sure we're selling tickets. I want to make sure that you are doing things that bring in revenue because otherwise, what was the point in doing this album outside of ego? And in order to do that, you're going to need a website. So make sure your website has got everything you need. This is effectively your store or in the UK, your shop. You know, this is where you're going to sell stuff um, that's going to maximize and it's going to bring you the traffic in. Why are we going to make sure that everyone else has got traffic and you don't have that traffic? If you can own the traffic to your website, that's a lot more powerful when it comes down to your ads. And just lastly, a promotion idea. I'm not going to write this down, but start an email list because right now, if we're going into album territory and we're going into maximizing this, then you need an email list, which means that you can start to promote your email. You can have a text list as well if you want, but a good thing with emails is if you are delivering value on your email list, you will get a decent open rate and it's a very good way of selling. As much as I love text lists and everything else, email lists are just good for selling. They're just good for getting people to do the things that you wanna do. So start an email list. If you haven't got about it, think about the value that you are gonna provide. People will hit the follow button. They'll hit the subscribe button. They'll give you an email address. I'll do that, I'll give you an email address. The question is, what do I get? And if I like the answer, I'll give it to you. I'll hit the follow button. If I know what's coming up and I like it, I'll hit the follow button. If I know what I'm gonna get in that email, I'll give you my email address and I look forward to your emails. You've got to think about the value that you are delivering and the system for bringing people in. For example, hey, if you sign up to the email list, I'll send you, you know, three songs that haven't been released or whatever you want it to be. But that's the hook that's going to drag people in. Now we're into month two. Now, first thing in month two is I want you to build a calendar. Now, when I say build a calendar, I don't just mean be aware of things coming up. I mean, I want a fully blown printed out calendar somewhere that you can see it. I want it printed out in your studio or in your room. So when you see it, you can start writing things in. And I want everything in there. I want to know that if you've got the singles, they're in the single release date. I want the album release date. I want photo shoots. I want video shoots. I want content creation days. I want rehearsals in there. If somebody farts, I want it in this calendar. Now, the reason for that is because as you're seeing things coming up, you're thinking about them. You're not just going, oh no, I've got that interview. Oh, what shall I do? I'll just, I'll just go in and just play it by ear. You're thinking, no, in three days I've got an interview. So how am I going to capitalize on that? What stories do I want to tell? How do I make this fun for the person who's interviewing me so they want me back and so other people want to watch my next interview? And if I've got that video coming up, I'm planning. I'm planning what I'm going to wear. I'm planning everything else. It's in my brain. I can see what's coming up and I'm not just bumbling my way through the next six months. Then after that, we are going to design merch. Now you might say, I've already got merch. You say, no, because this is an opportunity. That's why we're releasing the album. We're not releasing an album for ego. We're releasing an album so that we can capitalize on the attention that you have already built. So therefore, we need merch that's going to fit in with this new album, even if it's limited edition. And we've, we've sorted out the website. So this means you don't have to go and print out thousands of t-shirts and keep them under the bed like the old days. Now, what we can do is we can use print on demand. There's hundreds of them. Um, Teespring or Printful or there's loads of them. And so you can actually get them all designed, as many designs as you want. People will buy them and get shipped. It doesn't cost you anything and you get the royalties. Perfect. So 
Design your merch, get this ready. We are not launching it yet, but we're just getting it ready so that as we get closer to the album, not only can we start to sell it, but we can start to use it to promote the, the album as well. Uh, what I would do is I would print, once you've got it designed, I would print a small run. So you've got it. Just so you can start doing, you know, giving stuff a few bits away. If you've got that really big interview and you want to say, like, I just want to say thank you and just give you a T-shirt, it means a lot to some people. So print a small run, just what you need, um, maybe even limited edition. Then after that, obviously, you've got to promote the single because the single has come out. So we've got to make sure that we are promoting the single in the usual way. Again, I'm not going into full details with that. Uh, and then lastly, you've got to now plan slash create your socials for the next month. I want a month at a time. That's what I would do. I would do one month. I would do one shoot for two to three hours and go, done it. I've done everything I needed in that month. So I've got my social sorted. Yes, I have the post, but I don't need to think about going and what am I going to create? I've done it. I've done a whole month. If something comes up, I'll whack it in there. But that anxiety train has long gone. Right, let's go next on to month three. So we are getting closer to our release date. Now, this is where we're going to release single two. So we are still going to push single one, but we are now bouncing it off single two. So now you've got, you've got something interesting happening where you can still use single one as an asset, but you've got something new and exciting to push that keeps that momentum driving and you can bounce off each other. I would release this one obviously six weeks, in my opinion, six weeks after. I don't think you need to do a month, but if you've got 12 songs and you wanna just go month, 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 and, and then album, fine. But I'm doing this one with a six week uh, break in between the singles. So this one will be six weeks later. Then I would, uh, um, sign off the album artwork, okay? So you might have already done this, but the album artwork has to be finished at this point because things go wrong, um, stuff doesn't get back to you on time. We've got to upload this into um, into the DSPs and they need the album artwork. So we've got to sign off on it and it's three months early, but it's really, really important. So get this album artwork finished and then you're going to upload the album into, oops, into the DSPs. Make sure it is there early because things go wrong. And once it's there, it's peace of mind. And you can let it bed in and eventually you can start doing things like countdowns, potentially if, if Spotify allows you, but you can do countdowns. Um, you can also do pre-saves, etc. So let's get it in the back of all of the DSPs as early as possible. And then something big. I want you to start booking the tour. Now, if you're saying right now, tour, I'm not doing a tour. Why do I want to do a tour? What's the point of releasing an album if you're not going to go and do a tour? What's the point of releasing an album if you're not going to do a merch run? Because that's the whole point. We're going to get the attention and the three big areas that you're going to make money off is more streaming revenue, more merch because you've got the attention and go on tour and actually have some fun. You know, enjoy this. Sell some more merch on tour. Get some more streaming from going on tour. Meet some more of the fans. Enjoy what you're doing. So ideally, hopefully, you will go on tour. Now, it's up to you. You can say, well, I work full time. Great. Go on tour on the weekends. Like a tour is just going on doing a couple of gigs in a row. Go and gig Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then do that three, four, five weeks in a row. Whatever you want to do. Do a week. Do two weeks. Do three days on, two days off. Do a 18 month tour if you want to, but book the tour. Let's get this booked in. You get to decide on the venues. You get to decide on the places. That should all be in the back. You know, if you're releasing an album, you should have enough details and data right now to know where your fan base is so you can start thinking about booking stuff up. So get that in. And lastly, again, we are going to plan and create socials for the next month. Now, the reason why I'm putting this in every single time is because I want it in the calendar. I want these shoots in the calendar so you don't go, oh, what? The, the worst thing in the world. Oh no, what am I gonna post today? That's the, it, you know what it's like. It's the feeling of like, oh no, I've got to post something today. I do, I'll do a selfie. And then you're looking at it going, oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Ugh, my socials aren't very good. Good, plan it. Let's do something really, really good. Let's get it in the calendar. All right, we are in month four. So we are now over halfway and getting close to the album release. So I want you to print some physical copies of physical albums. Now, you get to choose if you're going to do CDs, cassettes, or even vinyl. Vinyl still sell, but they're just they're expensive. That's the one thing I have with vinyl is they're very expensive. If you are going to do vinyl, think about, number one, how long it takes, but more importantly, think about how expensive it is. So you don't want to be left with a lot of vinyl because they're expensive to print, whereas at least CDs are a lot cheaper to print. And cassettes are quite interesting, and they take up a lot less room that you can take them on tour, and they don't break very easily. So think about it. Now, you can decide on how many people you could potentially sell this to, whether it's 100 or whether it's a 
thousand, get a few printed out because it's merch. It's just fun things that people will appreciate when you're using. So selling some or even giving them away. They make a really good way of actually getting the word out there, especially to people in the industry who will actually be able to help you. So print enough copies to make it worth your while. It's a bit calculating, but it works. Next thing is we are gonna start sending out press releases and uh, EPK. So make sure you've got an EPK. If you haven't got one, build one, especially for this album. Uh, and you're gonna be sending this any way you can think of. So radio, you're gonna send this to magazines, you're gonna send this to bloggers, anything that you can think of that potentially has the ability to get you more attention. It's just work. It's just messaging people. Hey, I'd love to send you this. Hey, would you mind taking a listen to this? Hey, I've just listened to your radio show. Love it. Would I be able to send you something? I'm not going to lie about it. It's boring. But at the same point, it does work. It's that one-to-one -one building those relationships and relationships really build careers. Then after that, you're going to set up the pre-save. Now, the best thing has happened, which is Spotify now allow you to do the pre-save in the back of Spotify. Ah, oh, <laughs> what a dream. Remember those days of all that nonsense fiddliness of pre-saves? Well, now you can just do it in the back of Spotify. Just go in the back of Spotify for artists and there's just a button. It's brilliant, which allows people to pre-save. Really, really good. And then after that, you've got to start promoting, okay? When it comes to start promoting the, especially the tour. Okay, because the tour is not going to sell itself. So you've got to sell them tickets. I mean, fully sell the tickets. I want one-to-one. -one. I want messages. I want ads. I want socials. I want you to make sure that if you're taking on a venue that's got 100 capacity, I want you to say, no, I'm going to sell 100 capacity. And I'm not just going to go, by the way, it's there. We're coming to play if you fancy doing it. I'm saying, no, we're going to make that venue full. The way we're going to do that is we're going to build buzz in that area. We're going to talk to people in that area. We're going to bring people to play with us from that area area who can also bring people. We're going to do anything that we can to make sure that there are bums on seats because not only are we going to build a new fan base or look after your fan base, also we're going to get a load of social media from it as well. There's nothing worse than getting social media where it's you going crazy on stage and there's just one man and his dog watching. So let's make sure that, that tour is sold out. And then as always, we are going to plan and create next month's socials. Okay. Again, in the calendar. And that leads us on to month five. So we are now one full month away from, from the release. So we are going into single release number three. So we're still promoting singles. Again, I haven't gone into full details of the daily of the singles because I've already done videos on that, but we are still promoting the singles. This is using the singles to promote you and make sure you are building up this audience so that we have the momentum going into this album. Now, this one's probably going to be at the end of the month because we already uh, we already did it, or maybe the beginning of the month because we did it at the end two months ago, but six weeks time. Then after that, we are going to design the banners. We have to make sure that when we release, we can make this a big, uh, a big thing. So all of the artwork, now it needs to be on, don't put it too early, but it needs to be able to go on the banners on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, all these different places. We need to have everything in different formats. And by, by that, I mean different sizes. So get everything ready now so you're not staying up late into the night getting ready to, to put stuff on your YouTube the next day. The next thing after that, we're going to start promoting the pre-save. So this is where we can really start going into going into telling people that the album's coming out. Yes, the third single is coming out. Do you know why? It's because there's an album coming out. There's an album coming out in a month's time. Here's the date. Save the date. Go and pre-save it. Let's not do the surprise. Let's not just go, oh, surprise, I released an album. Here it is. Let's say, no, 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 I'm letting you know now. You've got a month and I'm going to be pushing this. Get ready. I want you to go, no, I remember you've got an album coming out. I remember that. I want that message. I want everyone to know that you have an album coming out. They're not going to forget this. You can also get them to buy the album from pre-save or you can get it to on on, um, on the DSPs. And then I want you to start organizing any interviews. So this could be ringing up your local radio station and be like, look, I'm a local. This is a community radio station. I'm part of the community. You should let me come on and sing a song or have a chat. It's up to you to come up with the PR angle and what you're going to do. But a lot of radio stations, I know because I did this for two years, a lot of radio stations will go, yeah, please, because my show is seven until 10 and it's lonely. So come and join me. Why not? So again, if you don't ask, you don't get. Then I want you to book the launch party. 
Now, you don't have to make this a huge deal. A launch party is really fun. A launch party is where you just get together with anyone who's been a part of the process, anyone who's your mates, maybe some of the fan base in the local area. You just say, come and celebrate with us. Just come down. Maybe even book it as a gig and you do the gig yourself. One of the things that we did a few years back is we booked a venue and we put not saying everyone can do this, but we put a thousand pounds, which would be what, like thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars behind the bar. And we just said we it was invite only, but we said, look, it's a free bar. Now, I knew that if we did a free bar, the people who wouldn't have come down came down. And so we had quite a lot of the industry in that area coming down. Why? Because they're selfish, because they're greedy, because they went, oh, it's a free bar, plus it's like a night out. So I'll go and see the other, because I, are you going? Yeah, okay, I'll come with you. So yeah, it's a free bar, it's fun. And what happened? Then all of a sudden, we got loads of stuff from it. We got loads of interviews. Oh, you should meet my friend, so-and-so, so-and-so. And it really built up. Yes, it cost us a thousand pounds, and I'm not saying anyone can do that, but this wasn't just uh this wasn't for fun. This was a big PR opportunity that we got something out of. Then you're going to start teasing. And by start teasing, you can start teasing everything. You can start teasing the merch. You can start teasing the uh, the promotion on the website. You can start teasing uh, the album. Just start getting this out. And as always, I want you to plan slash create the socials. And then, oops, um, a promotion idea. Do a giveaway. You got you've got some merch now. Let's do a let's do a giveaway. Let's start giving stuff away and building that excitement and saying to people, look, I'm gonna give you a t-shirt. Can you do me a favor? Can you take a picture in the t-shirt so I can put it on our socials? Because that is more momentum with regards to the music, the album, you the artist, the socials, and social proofing that people are liking this. So that's month five. Now we are going in to the big release month. Now instead of going into month six, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the day before the release because this is a few weeks later is at this point what i want you to do is i want you to queue everything up okay so queue everything now by that what i mean is banners artwork like make sure everything is in the back of of all the dsps right make sure your aggregators got everything make sure that the nothing can go wrong because like i said something goes wrong with a single oh that was a bit of a Bummer, we'll put it out tomorrow. Okay, this is an album. Like, this takes a long time. Let's make sure, let's let's go through everything and make sure it's there. You queue up your emails if you've got email list, because that's going to tell people. Make sure that you're pushing that last thing on, on social, saying, hey, tomorrow's the big day. I need your help with this. Um, plan your socials. When you plan your socials, plan also uh, a live um a, a live event, you know, go TikTok live, Instagram live, just, well, it's half an hour, just go on, have a chat to people, just be really excited because people will see it for the first time. The platforms will push it out more. Go and start contacting anyone you've talked to. So I'm gonna say um, curators, I'm gonna say bloggers, any anybody that you've talked to, oops, bloggers, and just say, hey, by the way, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big day. I know I can count on you and, you know, send them something nice. And lastly, put your ads live. Just before you go to bed, make sure those ads are live. Get it, get it out there so that as soon as you wake up in the morning, people are clicking the ads and going straight across to the DSP or whatever you want it to be. Because you go to bed, it'll probably go live at 12 o'clock midnight, you'll be asleep, and at which point those ads should be going live at the same point. So make sure these ones, at this point, these are call to action. These are retargeting people. We've warmed the, 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 the audience up for ages and ages and ages. Now we're saying, no, 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 I don't just want you to watch anymore. That was yesterday. Now... I want you to go and do the thing. I want you to go to the DSP. I want you to go to Spotify. I want you to go to YouTube. I want you to buy the merch. All of the adverts that you set up, this is about capitalizing on the attention. I can't stress that enough. Otherwise, don't make an album. Just go, let's build an audience. The problem here is I talk to too many artists that are getting close to a million um, followers and they don't have any income from it. They don't have any opportunities from it other than people going, oh, I like, your, I like your TikTok, or I like your Instagram. No, 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 no. I'm not building a million followers for this not to work. I want a million followers, not just so I can build streaming revenue. I'm building a million followers so I can take over the world and make a bunch of dosh. That's what this is about. And then we are going into release week. So I'm just going to go into release week. I want you to make sure that you are doing the launch party, I want you to do the, uh, obviously the release, obviously. I want you to get that on the website as well. I want you to um, have the tour completely ready and you are going to smash the tour. Go and make sure that tour is amazing. Honestly, tour is so much fun. Then after that, um, interviews, giveaways, 
just keep pushing on release week. Um, send merch. Oops. Send merch. Send merch to people. Just say, I know it's a lost leader. Lost leaders are fine. You say, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send a T-shirt to this guy on the radio because I think maybe he'll play our tracks more. Just if it costs you 10 quid, but you just go and get a bunch of opportunities from it, 10 bucks, then it's worth it. And then the big thing, I'm writing this big, sell, sell it. That's why we're here. We're not here to be like, I made an album, aren't I clever? I'll just leave this here. No, 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 no. We're using this album. I want everyone listening to it. I want people so in love with this album that they go, what else can I have? And you go, funny you should mention that because we are going on tour. Funny you should mention that because we do have merch. Funny you should mention that because we do have some kind of fan club or Patreon. Funny you should mention that you are capitalizing on the attention. Make sure that every single CD that you printed sells. Make sure that you're sending everyone to your website to make sure they buy this because you just made an album that costs money okay and then lastly the big thing at the end which is the post release all right so after this this is huge right you have to keep the momentum right that's all i'm going to write momentum I could do a whole video. In fact, if you want me to, I will do a whole video on the next six months. I've done six months leading up to this. I could do six months easily on what you're going to do to carry on promoting this album. This is the asset that you bought. You bought the house. You did all of that work. You finally got the mortgage. You did it. You bought the house. The house is right in front of you. Great. Fantastic. What happens next? Because you did the hard work, you got the house. Now the house has to generate enough income to make this into an asset. Otherwise, it's a liability. You made the album. You made the decision. Now you have to spend the next six months saying, why did I do that? I did that not just to get more attention, not just to get more followers. That's not the aim of the game. That's what singles are for. This is for me to make some money, to get those opportunities. If I want to get that festival slot, this is the way to do it. If I want to get that live agent, this is the way to do it. If I want to go and get that manager, this is the way to do it. You have to work and work and work this album. You made the decision to make the album, so let's capitalize on it. So guys, that is everything that you need to know about releasing an album. Don't take this lightly. If you are going to release an album, please don't do it for ego. Do it for the right reasons. Do it partially because you love the music, you love the process, but don't belittle the fact that this is an asset that you can make money and get opportunities from, and that is how you build momentum. So do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. If there's anything in here that you're struggling with and you want more details, you need to go and check out DK Music Business Academy because we do this stuff all day, every day in the finest, minute details because that's the geek that I am. So if I can help with anything, give me a shout. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys soon.